Hey, Betty Bash, 28th of May, 2019. This is an interesting subject that's come across my path here. One that uh, a lot of people get easily offended about. So, you know, if you're easily offended by just about anything, then all you need to do is stop watching this video right now. Because I'm going to be addressing, in part, the LGBTQ community in a very kind and loving manner because the fact is I do love you and I understand that most of you are just in that community because you don't know the true purpose of your life and I also know that that community can be very dark and very unfulfilling however the, the devil convinces us that the flesh is the end-all be-all so if it feels good do it even though it results in unfulfilling life that's what the devil does so just understand that there is no way that I'm here to offend or to attack if you feel good so therefore you're not looking at the deeper meanings of things and it's the same with these giant celebrations. Now, when I saw this billboard catch fire last week, I made a note of it because the very first thing that, that popped into my mind was fire in the sky. Okay, and there's a lot more to that as well. But that's what stuck with me, you know. In 2 Peter 3, verses 10 and 12, you can read about the fire in the sky, the elements melting in the day of the Lord which is coming and that's the whole point of me doing these videos is to tell you that the day of the Lord is coming and it's imperative that you understand who and what you are and that you need a Savior and that Jesus Christ is in fact that Savior so I made all these notes for the last several days sometimes I can't even make sense of my own notes but that's what it all started with. And I came to find that this um, New York Pride, okay, this is worldwide. You need to understand this. The, in a very short period of time, this has become like a world phenomenon. The same-sex marriage, the transsexual this, all of these things. And these are not natural. It's not me saying that. It's nature that says that. And scripture says that, you know, they've changed the truth of God into a lie and have you worshiping and serving the creature, the flesh, more than the creator, your father in heaven, who is blessed forever. Amen. So for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, woman changing the natural use into that which is against nature and the men all likewise. You, you, you need to see this for what it is. It's deceit of the devil conning you through the flesh, okay? And the reason I bring this up now, though, is because something else came across my path that was really interesting. And that was this um, Manhattan Henge. Check this out. This is a new phenomenon, basically, created more or less by uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the, uh, the lying physicist or whatever he claims to be um, this is a new thing this is like the new world orders version of stonehenge i mean seriously they built with their hands all these buildings and now they're celebrating this manhattan henge which, ha which happens on may 30th twice a year okay manhattan henge like stonehenge you know you can look at these things and glean your own understanding from it but it's quite interesting because the 30th also falls on what's known as ascension day the 40th day of the omer in judaism okay this is important too you can find it in acts 1 6 through 11 okay how he walked among us for 40 days now this can tie into a lot of other things as well all right this is a whole nother subject matter but the, uh, the fact that it falls on the same day as Manhattan Henge, as well as the kickoff of the month of pride, worldwide month of pride, is not an accident. Okay, These things are, 
are coming upon the earth and it matters how you live your life. That's all I'm saying. If you truly understand that you're going against nature if you're participating in this lifestyle, and this can span off into many other things, but the fornication and the, and the worshiping of the flesh and the pride, I'm telling you, this is dangerous, dangerous turf you're going into. And your eternal soul depends on it. Okay? 2019, Romans 1, 19 and 20, revealed to them. This is, this is how it's telling us, you know, you should know, you know, because that which may be known of God is manifest. Okay? It's in you. And you can see it if you are, in fact, looking for the truth. God has showed it to you. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. You see God in everything, in nature. The golden ratio that, that forms itself, these are the fingerprints of God, okay? There's no excuse for not knowing that there is a creator. Just the way it is, guys, you know? You need to repent, change your way of thinking, your lifestyle, if you truly seek fulfillment in your life, okay? The Stonewall Inn has some interesting things to it as well. It's just situated in 69, of course. This is the 50-year, quote, celebration. And it's located at 5153 Christopher Street. Think about that. 5153 Christ Christopher Street. This, this is an interesting little tidbit right here. It was made a national monument. Uh, now, I don't know how that even works, but... That's what happened. And Obama was the one who made it that way. Check this out. June 24th, 2016, it became the first national monument dedicated to this people. And that was exactly 153 weeks as of the 30th when, when Manhattan Henge occurs. Okay? Just look at these people. I mean, they're just in the middle of the street lining the streets, standing in the middle of the street to get a picture of the sun, all right? And you can view it on 14th, 23rd, 34th, 42nd, and 57th. Those are some interesting numbers, man. The generations of which I believe were in the last. The 23, 23, you need to separate yourself from this world, be born again, a new creation. The 42, the number of the Antichrist, the months he will reign. And the 57th, that's interesting because it's the triple tau. The 19, 19, 19, which is a direct relation to the seasons, the solstices and equinoxes. 91 days per season. The season that they are awaiting to bring in their new world order. Look at what people do. They're worshiping the sun. They're worshiping the creation. It's just all over the place. You need Jesus Christ. You need to be on that foundation in order to withstand what's coming upon the earth. And it is coming. I pray you know Jesus. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 